Well, today we're going to show you how to uh, change a, a thermostat uh, from a car. Basically, uh, every car is going to be different, but as you can see, mine here is um, right at the top. So you see the, the the first thing you want to do, and I've already done this uh, basically, but you see this pipe right here, right here. Uh, I've got the camera in my hand. I can't really let go of it, but uh, this pipe right here is, was connected to this end of the pipe right here, and it was just a matter of taking this screw off and then uh, putting a, a pan underneath the um, uh, the car, uh, as you can see it down there, to uh, catch all the excess um, uh, antifreeze. Um, so I've already done that. I took the screw off, took my pipe off, and then there was two screws that were run here and the other one it was down here at the bottom of this and all I did was just unscrew them off and then you get the, you get it off like this like that and uh, the thermostat was actually this little piece right here and it cost like about maybe nine dollars at the AutoZone but it was basically sitting like this um, you see this little notch right here it's kind of like loose well, if you can remember, it goes right here where the bolt is, and it goes right there. That way you line it up properly. So there there it was. So basically, I'm taking out the old one right here. This one doesn't really um, uh, control the temperature of the car anymore. Basically, when the, when the engine gets really, really hot, this right here uh, thermostat opens up and then it allows the antifreeze to come from the radiator into the engine and cool it down when it gets to a certain level. So um, my car was overheating, my Zuzu, so um, it wasn't really, uh, it was kind of stuck. So this needs to be replaced. And this is only about maybe, uh, it cost me like $9 at AutoZone. But um, I got my new one. Uh, I got it right here. It comes with uh, a, a new one, and it also comes with a casket. The casket, you probably didn't even tell, but uh, it, 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 when you take it off, you'll notice that it, it'll have this piece of uh, kind of cardboard type of material right here, and that's called your casket. That's kind of like the cushion. Um, it, it'll be corroded on yours. Uh, but you know just scrape it off because you don't want any excess off take the old casket off and what you're going to do is, is you're going to put the new casket on there and then the thermostat and put it back together again okay I've got my new thermostat right here and uh, let's go ahead and take it out and um, here it is right here and what, all we're going to do is we're going to put it in we you know when you take your thermostat out you want to take note as to how you took it out take really note and, and and the way you took it out is the way you're going to put it back on this one right here I noticed that it was like that like that but I, and took note that the bolt here and the little little metal coming out of here was lined right there so see here it is I'm just going to put it right right back in here like that and it's ready it's ready to go there we go the next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually put the casket on uh, the uh, the new casket on the uh, thermostat and this is what it looks like basically what this is is just going to go right there um, and what you want to do when you go to AutoZone is you want to make sure you ask for the casket because this is a must you don't want to leave the store without this casket and basically what we're going to do is we're going to put this um, high temperature silicon all around it or all around the casket because this allows it for not to leak and it's really it's a really good sealant so the kind I got was the high temperature um, RTV silicon casket maker so uh, it's really good and it'll avoid from you having a bunch of problems uh, later on now that you got your casket on there we're gonna go ahead and put our pipe back on here See, all we're going to do is just put it back the way it was, like that. And all we're going to do is just put the screws back in there. Okay, the next thing you want to do is you want to actually, uh, you want to actually screw them back in. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm actually screwing it back in. And I can't really do this with a camera in my hand, but I'm basically going to screw both of those screws back in. And there you have it. Um, actually, I've already put it back together again. I put that screw in. 
that screw down down the batter and the bottom the bottom then the casket and then basically this screw to tighten the holes up and it's all in so uh, it's ready to be in so I got a new thermostat and uh, it's all ready to go and that is how you uh, replace this thermostat if you can see that yep all right we'll see uh, if that uh, should stop the overheating all right forgot to mention one thing when uh, you put it back together you want to make sure your radiator here uh, make sure that it's uh, full you see it's kind of empty because uh, it, it spilled when, when we took that pipe out so remember to get your pot your little little plastic container you don't want any of that antifreeze on the floor because your pets will die uh, it, it is toxic so make sure you put it in a bottle and you take it to the nearest fire department or a place that will they accept except uh, hazardous uh, liquids. You, you don't want to pour it down the drain or um, in the river in back of your house or anything like that. Never do that. Or down the gutters. You want to make sure you take it and, and store it in a bottle and, and take it to and dispose of it properly. But what you want to do is um, fill this up with antifreeze uh, and make, make sure that your uh, uh, reservoir is is full and at the max as well and then you're ready to go all right that was it thanks for watching